can you talk about one of the best moments that you had in IIC? Yeah, so I had many, many, many memories of IIC over this many years. The first, uh, the, the first one that I could remember is uh, uh, I, I published my first paper during my masters, and <laughs> getting that mail there that that your paper is accepted is very joyous moment. Then subsequently, I had to present my work. And people appreciating that work uh, certainly gives you a very nice feeling. So that was one moment I can remember from my masters. During your PhD, what happens is uh, IIC gives you a temporary admission, and uh, to confirm that admission, you have to undergo comprehensive examination after two years. Right? So clearing that examination, it's and getting a per like um, confirmed uh, research student at IIC, becoming that is uh, another high moment. And uh, third one is a melancholic moment where I tried to submit paper and it got rejected once or twice and subsequently for in my third attempt it got accepted and got some good reviews and that certainly was another moment that I would remember from my PhD. Yeah, nice to hear that you got uh, you had a chance to publish a lot of papers so how did you handle with all of those laws in your uh, PhD uh, life and how has the IIC community helped? Okay so um, Okay, so PhD is a long, 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 long journey, like five years at least for me. And then uh, what happens is uh, when you submit paper and you get a rejection, it's not a binary decision, like you don't, just don't get to see yes or no. What they do is uh, reviewers will give you feedback that, uh, okay, you need to improve on certain aspects of your paper. And uh, maybe sometimes you don't know how to improve on those because you tried your best to address those questions in that research paper. So what you do is uh, you go and talk with your advisor first at how to go about addressing those issues that reviewers, reviewers has ra raised and then maybe go to lab mates, ask them for feedback and maybe they will suggest something. Uh, sometimes what helps is uh, in certain, since IS is a big, big like community of different researchers, maybe it, it helps to go and seek out help from different departments as well because sometimes some problems are already solved in certain domain. Maybe you are not aware of that. Most likely you are not aware of that and you go and read about those uh, problems, how was it solved and then uh, try to ap apply those things into your research and maybe it works out. So certainly like the community helps, your advisor helps and lab mates of course. So that's how it is.